you're going to see mindfulness expert Ron Siegel work with Lorraine, a 60-year-old woman who had a car accident about a year prior and has been out of work and struggling with pain and rehabilitation since then. He starts with a general mindfulness practice and then shifts to helping her experience how focusing on the pain amplifies it. Research has shown that aversion to pain is a major component of chronic pain and that many of us do not notice that aversion response. The purpose of mindfulness in this case is to help us distinguish between the moment-to-moment -moment pain sensations and our aversion response to them. Training the mind to attend to something uncomfortable while keeping an open and receptive attitude can make us actually feel it more, but counterintuitively be much less distressed by the discomfort. The aversion response decreases because we practice just being with the discomfort and not trying to fix it. The goal is to help us be more willing to engage in activities that are painful, including activities that we enjoy, need to do, or are necessary for rehabilitation. So let's do this. So let's close our eyes together. Mm -hmm. And we'll start with just uh, feeling the sensations of the breath. We're going to do a little bit of uh, what's called mindfulness practice, which is bringing our attention to whatever's happening right now in the body and trying to cultivate an attitude of acceptance toward whatever it is. And let's begin by just noticing the sensations of the breath. And see if you can feel the sensations of the breath through its full cycles, from the beginning of an inhalation to the point of relative fullness and then to the end of an exhalation. 